finally, um, my name is Christine. I am the Naptime Sourced and welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a while, it has definitely been a while. Um, I have been missing in action as my partner would say. Um, there has just, as with everybody, there has just been a lot going on. There has just been life happening. Um, sick babies being top of the list um, all four of the kids have all been sick at different times but anyway we will get started I am here today for a long awaited fabric haul I can't even remember it was probably back in July I started saying I was going to um, I had like a small like a mini fabric haul that I wanted to share with you guys so um, finally, I've got round to video on it. Um, just between sick babies and I've started a computer course um, one day a week and I'm doing a parenting course, Incredible Toddlers. Busy, 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 busy. And then the children have not been taking naps. Well, Caitlin hasn't been taking naps. Dara still, you know, he would sleep on a bed of nails. Um, but Caitlin, you know, she has just been, just with her not being well as well, she's just been a bit sort of all over the place. So there hasn't really been an awful lot of sewing. But as you can see, my camas blouse is still um, on the mannequin. It's all finished other than um, a few buttons to sew on. Um, and I think that is it. Oh, I've the label to put back on at one time at one stage whenever I was sewing it up I needed to take I had put the label on already and then I needed to take it off again so I'm just gonna sew that um sew that on and that's that's it finished and um, my Cleo that I spoke about in my September plans I think I know because we will now be into September and October plans never mind um or mix rather than just the September mix but yeah I spoke about the Cleo and um, it is basically done I had tried as well to do a bit of embroidery on the pot well you'll see you'll see I'll get talking about that another time back on subject focus Christine so anyway that's what's on the mannequin on me the, the moving mannequin is um, McCall's M70, I have it written down somewhere, hold on. No, I don't. M7584, I think something like that. If that's not it, I'll pop it down below on the screen somewhere, over here somewhere, um, to let you know exactly what it is. It is just a wee shirt pattern. I spoke about it in more detail before, and look, it has buttons now. Um, anybody that has been following me for a while will know that myself and Buttons take, took this over a year to get Buttons on it. But anyway, it has Buttons now. It's really nice. Um, we shirt for um, just run the Biden and I really, really like it. So I'll link the um, video where I go into more detail about it um, below. So if you want to know anything more about it, you can you can have a wee nosy there but yes let's get started because we're like nearly we're about four minutes in and I still haven't even told you any of the fabric and it's not just fabric we have um patterns today as well so there's a lot of patterns Um, I got advice from um a sewing friend of mine uh Rebecca and she had told me to go to is it print plan 24 um that you know if you had a lot of patterns to get printed off um go there and the you know it works out really reasonable which it, it definitely did but we'll get to that in a minute first of all we'll start with the fabric oh. so my first fabrics and um, that i wanted to show you were are from um the pink door or beyond the pink door um it's a it's a shop run by andrea and Karis. Um, in the south of Ireland and um, they have beautiful fabrics absolutely beautiful fabrics and they had they ran a competition um, 
just celebrated and I think it was their one year anniversary or was it somebody's birthday? One year anniversary of being open I believe. Um, they ran a competition on their Instagram page and I entered and I was one of the winners. There was a few, there was a few different, um, there was like a hundred pound bundle I think and then there was five twenty pound gift vouchers and then five ten pound gift vouchers and I won one of the ten pound no ten euro sorry ten euros um gift vouchers and I won a ten euro gift voucher so of course I didn't spend just ten euros I got a wee bit more because why wouldn't you so the first one I got was I don't I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well sorry about the sunlight um, it is like a lovely, it's like an aqua marine. Um, so it's been washed already, so it might not look um just as perfect as it did when it arrived. But it is a, it's a sweatshirt, and it is gorgeous. It's fleece backed. Um, I'm not sure if Andrea has any more left, but if she does, I will link it below. Um. But it is just gorgeous. Um, I don't have, I don't have really any jumpers. Um, so when I won the voucher, I knew that it was going to be sweatshirt and fabric that I was going for. Um, I have a lot of training gear, you know, like hoodies from um stuff that I've taken part in and we have our club kit for team Runwell um, but I don't have any I don't really have any dressy um, jumpers so that's why um, that was my first fabric and then my next one is gorgeous this is not going to be a jumper this is going to be something else look at that look at that isn't that just gorgeous this is another sweatshirt and it is, it's nearly like, it's nearly like a loop back and a fleece back at the same time, but it is gorgeous. It's so soft um, and so snuggly. Um, it is going to be an absolute, I do have plans for it, um, which I will talk to you about in a minute. But um, yeah, I, I absolutely love it. Um, so they're both from Beyond Pink Door. And as I say, there was no way I was just spending 10 euros. No chance. So that was my first wee, um, my first wee bit of fabric. Now, the next bit, it's maybe not just as exciting and as pretty, but it's going to be equally useful. Well, actually, the very first one I'm going to show you, I don't know what I'm doing with it. If you've any... Um, if you have any ideas of what to make with it you can give me a shout i had got it with the idea anybody that has been following me for a while um the christening dress remember it remember it well when i was making it i thought i wouldn't have enough of the fabric to fix my boo-boos so i ordered some bright pink to go that I thought would you know work well with it now I ordered it's this gorge it is beautiful and um, it's like a cerise pink viscose I'll open it out so you can see it a bit better Um, it has been pre-washed so excuse the wrinkles it's been washed and folded Um, that's kind of coming up quite true to colour oh sorry about that wee bit of um sunlight there it when it came it is gorgeous it is really really nice but it just wasn't the right sort of weight um and the the fabric that I had I'll insert a picture of it here um it nearly had like a sheen to it and this just didn't have that sheen so it, when it arrived I just knew it wasn't going to work but it's still beautiful it is still beautiful and I have, how much have I? I have about a metre of it. So if you have any ideas, please pop them in the comment box below. Um, 
it's a nice it's like a cotton cotton viscose it is lovely it has really nice drape um, as you can see it really is lovely and um, but as I say I don't have any solid plans because I got it for something that it wasn't going to work for but I do want to use it I definitely want to use it so that is another one and um, that's plain pink oh and it's from Minerva and um, I believe they still have plenty of it left so I will link it below and um, the next one I got I had done I, I was part of I joined in rather with a competition in July um, so recreate the look by so so dressmaking and um, Jen leg and I had an idea of maybe making a maybe hacking an Ogden cami into like a button up and maybe with a wee frill and stuff and you know I just I was throwing ideas around anyway and um, so I went and got some white viscose to make a beautiful wee top but I just haven't done it yet <laughs> now I have as you can see I have cut into this a little bit um because I did use some of it to line my um Ogden cami that I had made for whenever I was um doing Godmother uh, a few weeks ago, months ago now. When? I don't know. Recently. We would say recently. That's a bit more non-committal. So anyway, I had got this beautiful look and, and it really is, it's, you know, it's white white. It's not, it's not sort of off white and it's not really showing up quite well there. It's, it's coming up like a bit of a a darker sort of color but it is gorgeous and I I was apprehensive and I was a bit worried when I initially ordered it because I ordered it from Pound Fabrics and I wasn't sure wasn't sure of the quality um it was going to be and that sounds awful but it like it has come and it is it is beautiful um, it was like five pounds or six pounds a meter so it was really really reasonably priced um, and was it no it wasn't even it wasn't even five pounds a meter it was less than that maybe it was about 250 250 a meter I'm not sure I'll um, if they have any of it left I will link it below um, and you can go pick some up but I, I mean it was cheap it, w it was really really cheap I, um, for the price that I paid you would not believe that um, that was the price that I paid if you felt it it's lovely and soft and as I say it has a good drape I would definitely I feel like I don't know if you'll be able to make that out can you see the stuff in behind me because of the you sort of can can't you um, I definitely feel like I will be lining um, the top that I make with this. I still have um, a, I still have a um, top in mind for that. I actually went on and found on Apple Appline. It's a French um, company, so I'll put the name here properly, and I'll insert a picture of the of the pattern but I, I know I have a good solid plan with that it'll not be now because we're going into winter and I'll not get the use of it but come um, springtime that will be that will be one of my first makes I think um, but yes so that is that's that now the next two fabrics they are they're something that will not be maybe of interest I don't know to everybody but I'm scared put it this way I my partner Cameron has been asking me for a pair of mountain biking shorts for a long long time um, and I keep saying yes yes he's been asking me for about three years so I have eventually 
at least committed to getting the fabric for it. So I got this from Minerva um, and he wants he wants the mountain biking shorts to be waterproof and I kind of figured while I'm doing shorts why not do a jacket as well. So we ordered some ripstop. So they're going to be, I'm going to do a pair of um, waterproof shorts and a waterproof jacket and they're going to be of course camouflage honestly. Everything that Cameron owns, everything is olive green, camouflage, black with camouflage, desert camouflage, urban camouflage, I love him. I absolutely adore him. But I mean, he he has he has one theme, and he sticks with it in fairness too. But I still think he's really handsome. Though, so anyway, this is the one that we went for. There was a few different options, um, and I checked on the website. Minerva still has both of these in stock, so I will link them down below. This one is like a, a camouflage and then this one is just plain black. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do like one plain black and one camouflage. I'm going to try and um, mix and match, sort of have bits of camouflage and bits of black on both the top and the shorts. I've never sewn with ripstop before. Um, I don't know where to even start. Um, if anyone has sewn with this type of material or something similar before, please give me some advice down below. I am really, really nervous. Um, I don't know, do I need Microtex? Do I need a really sharp needle? Thin needle. Um, I have also got seam tape, although I forgot to lift it, but I ordered um seam tape as well for the for like the seams on the inside to put the seam tape on so that it, you know it seals them and makes them waterproof. So I know I know that much. That's about as much as I know. So um any advice will be greatly welcomed. Um because like I said, I'm scared. But that hopefully will all come together beautifully. I'll show you the because the patterns for it obviously are among my pattern haul. Um, so I'll show you those. I got these from Minerva as well, just while I was on the site. So don't tell Cameron. I didn't realise that this is a woman's pattern. Fingers crossed, it'll not make any difference. But don't tell them, it's our secret, okay? I mean, surprise, surprise. We don't do secrets in this house. Secrets are dangerous, so we do surprises. I'll tell them someday. <laughs> so we have, this is the pattern. This is the pattern. It is Jolly, I think it's 40, yeah, 4012. You can just see there at the top. I am so sorry about the sunlight. Um. There is the line drawings on the back. Um, so like I said, I'm going to try, you know, like you can see here on the front, they have used two different fabrics. So that's kind of what I am going to be mimicking, going for. Um, we'll see what happens. I am scared. <laughs> I really am scared. But that's pattern number one. And then the shorts are going to be the cargo shorts by wardrobe by me isn't it wardrobe by me yeah wardrobe by me um and again i will there's the line drawn there down at the bottom um i don't know maybe put like a black bit in at the bottom and then do like camouflage shorts or other way around i don't know i suppose i will need to see how what i can fit out of each fabric i am um, that will dictate how the um, pattern placement works on the on each fabric. 
but we'll see I'm like I'm excited as well I'm not just nervous but did you know actually ner being nervous and being excited are exactly the same chemical reaction in the body it's how your mind interprets that feeling so if you're ever anxious or nervous just keep telling yourself no I'm excited I'm just excited and it'll change your mindset sorry that's randomness but yeah um, with me and my mum always try to be sort of positive frame of mind um, and that would be one of the things that we try to focus on focus on it being a positive energy as opposed to an anxious energy I digress as always you're welcome for that random useless piece of information but we'll move on to all of the patterns. So I told you what I'm planning with the Minerva ripstop. Um, and I told you I had a plan for the animal print. So I had been a long time ago, I think it's maybe around this time last year or even earlier, maybe August of last year. I have been watching Soas Faction, um, Shona, on YouTube and she was wearing the most beautiful, I will insert a picture of her wearing the dress, um, the most beautiful Heather dress. It was just gorgeous and I had never looked at the Heather dress and thought, oh that's a really me, that's a re I really like that. But once I seen it on her, it was absolutely gorgeous. So um, that's what it's going to be, fingers crossed. Um, I just think it will be beautiful. Um, here are the, for anybody who hasn't seen the Heather dress before, I apologize for the sunlight. Um, but here are the line drawings for the Heather. I forgot to tell you measurements for the shorts and the shirt or the jacket but I will insert infographic pictures Ooh, there's a new word for you I'll insert pictures of the measurements on the back so that um, you'll be able to see it but the measurements for um, the Heather it goes from a size 6 to a size 20 so not massive, um, not massively great on their um, sort of range of sizes. If there is a PDF version which offers sort of a better sizing range, um, I will link it below. But I'm just not sure offhand if they do. But anyway, the the paper version that I have goes from size six to size twenty which and size 6 is a bust of 31, waist of 24 and hip of 34, size 20 is 45 bust, 38 hip and 48, no, 38 hip, could you imagine how small that would be? Oh. So size 20 is a bust of 45, a waist of 38 and a hip of 48. Um, what do we see? Fabric required. Um, so it's between 2 metres and 2.9 metres. Whether you have the um, 115 centimetre or 140 centimetre wide fabric, you're talking between 2 metres and 2.9 metres um, with those size ranges. Although if you decide to color, color block, because you can, you know, you can see here, um, there is a color block version. Um, you could use two different, you know, if I wanted to, I could do part of it in this and part of it in this. Don't know how that would work, hmm, right? But I plan on doing all the same anyway. But that is that's my lovely Heather dress. I'm so excited. Although I don't know if it's worth making just yet because I'm still breastfeeding and you know trying to hitch that up and feed. 
in our work. But we'll see. I could maybe do. See, there are there are breastfeeding hacks that you can do, like this the bust seam. You'll not be able to see it here. So this bust seam along here. I mean, you could insert an invisible zip so that you can get access. Um, or you could hack it so that you know it's like a crossover that can sort of be pulled apart I don't want to <laughs> I'm too lazy plus I'm not going to be breastfeeding forever um, that's another story completely I don't know how long that journey is going to be but we'll see anyway on to more of the um, patterns so this the first one is a Vera top it is by forget me not patterns and um, you are going to have to forgive me because I only got the AO print off I did not I haven't printed off um like the cover page or the instructions I have those all on my laptop but I'll insert pictures of um everything so the Vera top is, I think it's a v-neck and long poofy sleeves and then it sort of comes into a lovely um, cuff at the bottom. You can have it three quarter length or you can have it full length and the full length has a really deep cuff. It's beautiful. So that's my Vera top. Love it. And as I say, I'll insert um, a picture of the sizing information and the um, top itself. I'll insert a picture of those um, just here. Now the next one and by the way this is the same for all of these. These are all PDFs so I am sorry. You'll just have to stick with me. Although you can see on this one. So this one is the Grace top. Can you even see it? I can't see. Hang on. There we go. There we go. So it is the Grace top. Now I think it is Friday Pattern Company. Isn't that so bad? I don't even know <laughs> where I got it from. But anyway, I had seen the Grace top. Who had I seen with it? I'd seen a couple of people with it. Um again Shona on Sewis Faction has an absolutely gorgeous version. And then um, I had seen that a long time ago and had, had, had really liked it and kind of thought, oh yes, must put that on my to makes list. And then recently I was watching Sewn on the Time, Talon, and she put it on the radar again and I was like, okay, have to get it sorted. So that's what I have done. I have it printed. I haven't it traced off or anything, but I at least have it printed. And again, I will um, insert a photograph of the Grace Top made up. And I will insert a photograph of the sizing information on it. Um, and another one I got was the Square Neck Top. Um, and that is by Friday Pattern Company. I know that much because it says right here i don't know if you can see that through there can you <laughs> but yes and um, the square neck top i'll insert a picture of it here it is gorgeous Um, i was searching online for because i had i was tidying my pattern stash no my fabric stash and um, there was a few fabrics that I had and I thought oh I wish I could you know get some inspiration for what to make with these um, by the way if you have um, any suggestions on any tips if you have made the grace top or the beer top or the square neck top if you have any pitfalls um, that is good for me to watch out for please comment below and let me know um you know I am still fairly new to dressmaking so I do enjoy getting advice 
from everyone on what to watch out for. Um, but yes, I had been, I literally Googled. I Googled um, what to, or how, like patterns that I could get. I'm so sorry, I'm so tongue tied. And we're half hour in, oh my, hurry up Christine. And there's still so many to get through. Um, but I had literally Googled uh, patterns for under, I can't remember if it was under a metre or under two metres and a blog from the Fault Line come up, I will link it below. Absolutely beautiful stuff on there. So the square neck top was on it and I had already seen that they had the grace top. So I had it in my um, shopping cart. So that's why I decided to bite the bullet and just was like, I like them both, just get them. So I will let you all have a nosy through the fault line um, advice on what, like there were some absolutely beautiful, there was some that I, I already knew about, um, like the Ogden Cami and stuff, but there were definitely some wee treasures in there that were just really, really nice. Um, now, this next pattern that I got, it is a cult classic in the sewing world so everyone will know it when I say Blackwood cardigan and um, yes I have I when I first started watching sewing videos and um, I seen Susie from Threadquarters she had done a, I think it was like a nap time sew sew along for the Blackwood cardigan. Susie has loads of Blackwoods and I just loved it on her. I just, I love the, I love the shape of it. Um, so I, it has been on my list for a long time. And when I had decided that I was going to go to the effort of getting these all printed through that print plan 24, um, I was like, I'll get the Blackwood and just get it sorted. So that is, my Blackwood is on my list and it is actually, it's going to be in my autumn, sort of my overall autumn winter plans um, to get sewn up. I have a fabric in mind for it. I'm not sure, I'm not convinced, but I will, I will take your advice. Um, but that'll be another video because this one's already long enough. Um, and my Penelope Pinafore is my next one. Um, again, I will insert pictures for sizing information and um, what it looks like all made up. But the Penelope is just gorgeous. Um, I, I know I already have my Cleo, but the Penelope is just beautiful. Um, it, I had actually bought the Penelope a long, I downloaded it a long, long time ago and just never got it printed. Well, I tried to print it off with at home, but my printer was not great at the time and um, I never, I wasn't able to piece it together very well. So I just thought, get the AO, print it out, get it home. Now, one thing I would say about the paper that um, Print Plan, Plan use, the service is so quick. I mean, literally, I was speaking to one of the guys working there, Dean. I was speaking to him one day about, after I had placed the order, he sent me a message then to say, listen, there's actually extra pages in some of your um, printouts. So I have sent you an up-to-date sort of bill for it. So I got it paid and I think I paid it at like half four or something on the Thursday patterns were all here for the afternoon time on Friday. How quick is that? Now the delivery on it, the like the charge, the delivery charge, the postage is like I think it was 12.50 or something Um, so you know it's 12.45 or something I can't, I can't remember exactly what it was but the delivery was expensive and um, I think I would nearly have preferred to pay less delivery and wait maybe another couple of days. But regardless, the service is quick. Um, 
they are they were lovely and um, the guy that I spoke with Dean he was really really you know helpful because I couldn't he said he had attached a bill I couldn't find any attachment I was like Dean I don't know what you're talking about and dear love him he was very patient with me he was like no go on to your PayPal it should be in your PayPal I am computer illiterate, which is why I am back doing a computer course. <laughs> anyway, so yes, delivery is quick. Um, postage is expensive. The paper is super thick. I'm gonna show you this next um this next uh pattern that I have got printed and I'll show you what the paper is like. Um so the next one is the tulip tea by Patterns for Pirates. Um, isn't it Patterns for Pirates? Yeah, Patterns for Pirates. <laughs> I got the, I ordered the Tulip Tea a lot. I, well, I downloaded the Tulip Tea a long time ago. I think I was still expecting with ideas of, I'm gonna get it made and then it can be my maternity top and it can be my nursing top and I still haven't made it. Yay. But anyway, it's printed out now, so I can make it now. <laughs> go me um but yes the paper that it is printed on so this is it i'm not really going to be able to show you quite well am i but you know you can you can kind of hear and see it is it is quite thick now the tulip tea i haven't i haven't even been able to put this into uh one of my wee folders because that's how thick, that's how many pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't that? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there are six pages. A O. There's a lot of variations with the tulip tape. Um so there was a lot of paper going on there. Oh. and that that wasn't why that wasn't by the way why delivery was so expensive and um, once you go on to print plan 24 and you the first thing that you put into your cart right from the get-go that they have your um the minimum charge put onto your order and that does not change regardless of how many you add to it so Good if you're doing a lot of printing which is why I wanted to get all of my AO printing all sort of done at the one time and um, so that I could just get it all out of the way but the paper is very thick so if you haven't got your um, storage plans worked out for your PDFs yet before you order lots from print plan 24 get it sorted because yeah, it's sick. And now, this is my last one. Promise, my last one. Nearly 40 minutes in. Sorry. So, the Carrie Trousers by So Over It. Now, I seen the lovely Ailing Eels on Instagram with a pair of these, and they were just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful on her. Um, I'll ask Aileen if she minds me sharing a wee picture of her in her trousers. They're absolutely beautiful on her. So hopefully they'll be as beautiful on me. So yes, that was what um tempted me for the carry trousers. Um, and again, I'll insert information um regarding sizing and um if Aileen doesn't let me use her her picture I will insert a picture of somebody with a pair of um sew over it carry trousers on um and I will hopefully show you some beautiful examples of it um but yes once I seen Aileen's I was like yes definitely 100% that is what I need to make um, there are others on my list as well. I mean, recently I seen um, Portobello trousers by um, the French Seams, and is it so Emma? No, so over it, Emma. So bad with names. I'm 
so bad with names but yes basically I think in recent weeks I, I even shared Emma's on my um, Instagram and I still can't remember her Instagram handle but Emma's great she actually has a YouTube channel as well I link um I link her channel below but she had a beautiful version of the portobello's but I mean a girl could only sew so much at one time so they'll the portobello's are on the list they're on the list but anyway, yes, so that is my all for the right here and right now as far as um, fabric and pattern haulages are concerned. Um, if you have managed to get this far in, well done. Thank you for staying with me. I hope you're still awake. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed my haul, um, please do join me again um, I'm actually going to utilize my time this afternoon and I'm going to do a few videos so um, we'll have some content coming yay just in case there's any more sickness in the house um, I'll at least have something to post so if you have enjoyed joining me today please feel free to come back um, and join us again you can click the like button which is a massive help and um, I would really appreciate it it helps in getting my video out to other people who might enjoy it as well and um, if you would if you enjoyed today please feel free to subscribe and click the wee bell icon so you'll get updates of when I post my videos um, but other than that guys stay safe and I hope you are all getting in a little bit of sewing time now that the world is all opening up again it's harder to fit it in but um, I hope everyone's staying safe and getting some sewing done but everyone just take care look after yourselves and I will see you all hopefully very soon again all right take care bye <music>